everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains so this is the very first video on the Node.js tutorial so I'm gonna start a new tutorial on a server-side web development so till now we have only done the client-side web development using bootstrap CSS JavaScript and HTML right so from today we are gonna start a new tutorial a video tutorial on Node.js so using Node.js we can develop a server-side uh, web development okay so as a full stack developer you must know the client side technologies as well as the backend technologies so let's start with node.js so in this video we're going to understand what exactly the node.js and what are the features of node.js and who can learn actually the node.js concepts and what is the programming things of node.js and everything we're going to discuss and then we'll start deeper inside of node.js okay so first let's understand i think let me go to the next slide um, Node.js introduction. So, what is Node.js? So, do you think Node.js is a language? You know, no. Node.js is not a language. It's not a framework. It's not a library. Then watch. Node.js is just an environment. We know JavaScript, right? So, JavaScript actually a programming language. Okay, but don't think like JavaScript is a programming language and Node.js also a programming language. No. JavaScript is a programming language and we can execute a JavaScript programming language on one environment that's called browser right so we all know browser internally contains the JavaScript engine so this engine understands your JavaScript program and this convey the message to the browser so that we can execute the JavaScript program in the browser but now what is node.js the so node.js is just an environment same like a browser okay so this internally contain the same crown chrome's v8 engine so chrome is having v8 engine uh, and uh, mozilla having uh, other engines like that so the same v8 engine has been taken from the browsers chrome's and then uh, it is made in a c++ programming language and they have created one new environment called node.js so using this we can uh, write some server-side application and we can use node.js as a server-side uh, you know environment okay so why we use node.js is to develop a server-side applications next if you can observe here so the client-side chrome chrome is an environment which contains ph and the node.js is also uh, an environment which contains the v8 engine so by having this v8 engine we can run the same program so in the client side also we write same javascript programming language and server side also we write the same programming language so programming language javascript is common but using browser we can execute on the client using node.js we can execute on the server so this makes clear node.js is not a language it is just an environment okay fine so uh, what you should know first so before learning node.js sir what should I know uh, before learning node.js you must know the JavaScript okay because uh, in node.js we are gonna write everything JavaScript programming so we just write we just declare the functions data types and uh, uh, we have uh, even some advanced features like promises callbacks and all this correct so in order to write any node.js program you must know the JavaScript programming language okay and also you must know something called HTTP protocol if you don't know that's okay we'll understand what exactly HTTP protocol so HTTP protocol is uh, is kind of uh, a language which allows to communicate between a client and server so how a client and server is communicating between each other is using this HTTP protocol and we're having some methods like get post put and delete so that we're going to see in a future class also and then you need to know something called json so json stands for javascript objects notation so which is a file which represents the huge amount of data in a javascript object format okay and the same json we are going to transfer between a client and server okay and you must know the client server architecture so how the client will be there how server and how database and how they have a communication like client is going to send a request to server and server will process the data and then send back the response okay so here i want to stress something uh, till now we have done client-side development now we want to convert to um, server-side development 
but why this server word where does this server word has come you know i'll tell you one simple example uh, with this you understand what is exactly the server responsibility okay suppose uh, let's take one restaurant or hotel okay so one customer went to the restaurant and he sit in the desk and he orders something uh, i want some chicken biryani the customer orders chicken biryani and to whom he will inform he will inform to the server or waiter okay we call him a waiter and some people call server that person will take the order so see observe what is the responsibility of the server he will take the order from the customer okay what are all chicken biryani what are all you wanted and he take the order he go to the kitchen and he will give to the kitchen people and they will be preparing all the uh, things and all what is required after preparation they get the result i mean the result of the biryani and all and this person will nicely arrange it okay uh, properly arrange with all the you know dishes and all and he will bring it and give it onto the uh, table of the customer so what server has done is he take the order he does some process even involved with the database team i mean the database functionality and all and he arrange the data properly for visual purpose and he will give back the response who he take a request he does the process and gives back the response same story which also there for uh, client server attitude so client is nothing but he here is a customer but for website it's, it's a virtual world right so client is nothing but your browser in the browser when you enter facebook.com it sends to the server server does some process get back the response this how server works so now what is our responsibility of server coding here is server side web development here is we have to get a request from the client does the process like uh, validations uh, input uh, request processing and connect with database and all these functionalities and uh, uh, token management uh, encryption everything okay and uh, finally we have to send back a response that's the functionality of a server so now we are learning here what is the functionality and how can you write a source code for node.js okay and next uh, why to use node.js so sir what's the benefit if i use node.js because there are many servers out there like tomcat is there for uh, java web logic is there and uh, uh, internet server is there lot of things lot of servers are there sir why should i use only node.js so node.js is very fast and highly scalable and it is using asynchronous javascript programming like callback promises and all this asynchronous programming and the best feature in the node js is non blocking io so if you are seeing this terminology as something new don't worry in the future classes we understand what exactly this means okay it is using non blocking io operations it will not block the other user to you know wait for some time okay it does everything simultaneously okay and it is very lightweight server it's not like heavy weight like web logic and all it is very lightweight okay and also the even the very very best thing in node js here is we use the same programming language called javascript okay generally previous this if one person want to develop a client side application they have different different set of technologies okay and the same person he wanted to do uh, back end development i mean server side and all this he must know some new language called java dot net php like different different languages a complete new language he has to learn to develop something at server side but thing is here for ui developer the person who is javascript developer for him is best option because client side use same language back end also he use the same language he don't need to learn a new language so that's the best thing available here okay and it is very very popular for server side web development and i'll tell you which are the companies which are already using node js in the next slides so it is very popular and also you know there are huge job openings are there in node js okay so now it is uh, if in your resume if you add node js uh, so that will add a lot of advantage and that will give you the most priority if you know already the node js okay and they will consider you as a full stack developer if you know node js because you know uh, the client side as well as back end okay this is called a full stack developer okay fine so who are using node js so which companies are using node js so there are all the companies are using node js okay next starts with netflix so netflix all different different you know sector netflix netflix is actually the video streaming uh, 
website you can watch movies and all using node.js and uh, linkedin it's a profile management and uh, complete uh, you know social networking for the working professionals that is uh, using node.js and uber it is a uh, you know car booking uh, uh, app so which also using node.js and nasa it is uh, doing you know research on aerospace and all this this also knows in node.js and paypal so that is performing the payments so using node.js and ebay this is comes under e-commerce this is also using node.js so the topmost companies which are using node.js and node.js is very popular okay and it is most demanded uh, 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 term in your resume is node.js okay fine and uh, in node.js there are three set of modules okay one is core module one is thruster module and third party module so we are going to discuss these things uh, in a coming videos uh, three three types of modules okay core module what is core module means when you install a node.js in your system as soon as you install node.js itself come with a set of modules uh, let's take if you know something called java java is having set of packages right java is having set of packages like a you know io package net package lang package util package like that so why this packages means uh, they wanted to help you to develop an application in a faster way they'll give you the native code same like that in java sip also in node.js also they are giving a set of modules like a file system for fs module for file operation http module for uh, server set, uh, server creation and os module to interact with the operating system so they have given a basic modules uh, as soon as uh, installed with node.js uh, they all comes with along with node.js so this is called core module and what is custom module is the module which we can develop and once again what is module so module is nothing but a collection of java sip programs a collection of java sip files so you can call library but in node.js language we call it as uh, module okay which contains a collection of java sip uh, files and which are intended to uh, to develop something like fs is a module which contains a lot of java sip files and which uh, which contains a lot of methods and which allows to do only the file operations like that so for a particular purpose next uh, npm module npm module is one third party module in the entire node.js i like the best thing is third party module that is npm module node package manager there are a lot of and lakhs of third party modules are available for every feature for every functionality of your application you must have to use at least one or other third party module for example if you wanted to do a password encryption okay you have a password okay the password as soon as if you store in database that does not work out because uh, the database database administrator can see your password okay you have to convert the password to the encryption so for encryption we have one module okay that's called bcrypt module bcrypt.js and you want to maintain uh, a state management between a client and server you need to have one set of libraries that's called json web token it is officially accepted standard to maintain a state between a client and server json web token token based authentication system and we also have express.js you know express.js is out not a language or nothing it is just one third party module of node.js okay which allows to develop uh, an applications in a faster way okay so express is nothing but faster so to develop server side applications in a faster way we need the third party module called express.js okay it's not a language or technology it's just a third party module of node.js fine uh, the best feature in node.js is as i said npm node package manager so this is a centralized repository uh, if you are a java background people you may know something called maven right so maven is a central repository which allows to uh, download um, the set of libraries right for different different features same story which also there for node.js guys that is npm decentralized repository and uh, which allows to install a third party modules okay so whatever the requirement you have you want to perform payments you want to do uh, email uh, notification so for all this purpose you have one or other module available in npm and free of cost so these are certified and they are given some license for them so you can use happily so no vulnerable code there you can use them happily for third party modules and you can install a package using npm init uh, for create a package of json 
and npm install for locally globally will install don't worry we'll uh, see those things in uh, next videos okay and then uh, node.js installation okay so that's about node.js okay i hope now you clear about node.js so node.js is not a language or framework or library it is just an environment and which is allows to create the web application at server side so server side web development code using rest apis we're gonna develop okay along with node.js we also use one third party module called express.js okay and it is highly scalable and it's using non-blocking io and it is single threaded and it's it's, it's having you know a lot of uh, uh, huge demand in the market and a lot of other companies and the very high level companies are using node.js and only one prerequisite to learn node.js is you must know the java c programming language okay and uh, so that's about node.js and the next video so let's start with installation of node.js and then we'll start development of node.js thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you